Um, There's this one. It's like, hold on. Banana pancakes. No, you cannot. That sounds so good. Luke. Hit that one again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hit that one again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Do it again. Got a talented man here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. It's been a while since I played that, too. Got a talented man here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah. That should be the intro. Banana pancakes. <laughs> Copyright. Links in description. We can <laughs> adjust it to our own to our own taste. Make it non copyrighted. <laughs> Strawberry pancakes. <laughs> Strawberry pancakes. I had them this morning actually. Liz really? isn't a fan. What the f isn't that weird? It's Where? weird. I made them. Is that the name of our podcast? Strawberry pancakes? 100%. Strawberry pancakes. Alright. Strawberry welcome to Strawberry Pancakes. <laughs> oh my god, dude! We could, I could talk about food forever. Oh, no, Absolutely. you know why strawberry pancakes would be dope? I gotta save that. I could actually make this work. Strawberry pancakes. That would be like if we started a podcast. That would be our name for sure. Because we, we like post our podcasts in the morning, all right? And then strawberries are like delicious life. Like what? Like people? I don't know. I was looking into dream symbols or something like that. I kept having a. I kept dreaming about, like, strawberries. This is really weird. It's, like, some mystical shit. Dream interpretation? Dream interpretation. And I was, like, ha I had somebody... I had uh, strawberries reoccurring in my dream. I looked into it, and it was strawberries are meaning, like, uh, I think, life or something like that? Mm -hmm. Or love? I don't know. So, you can go and look it up. But, I don't know. I made that little connection. Welcome to Strawberry Pancakes! <laughs> Do we start it over, or is that... No. That's no, when editing it's... comes into play. Yeah. Smash it. That, you gotta do that every time, though. I think you need to record an intro so that any time we're at my house, you don't have to... I mean, if this yeah, becomes a too. consistent thing, I yeah. can get an intro, yeah. <clears throat> Smooth. <clears throat> Banana pancake or the strawberry pancakes is smooth. It's it a smooth is. Song. It is a smooth. It's relaxing. It's perfect. With, it fits with the lyrics. Yeah. As a music pervert, it fits <laughs> with the lyrics. Wait, just, a music pervert? I am. <laughs> the fuck's that mean? Self-proclaimed. Self, yeah, definitely. Okay. I am a big... I'm very anal when it comes to music. <laughs> like, I hate being force-fed mm. shit music. Uh, yeah. Anything that's on... Okay, I can't say anything. There's probably one or two songs that are okay. On country music radio, mm -hmm. but I can't listen to any of it because it's it's shit music. It's like you have pop, you have rap, you have country, you have rock. Why do we need to put it in a blender? I guess this is me not being a musical person whatsoever. Really, I like listening to music, but I just don't think I'm a musical person. I just yeah. don't have that little thing about me that makes me musical. Oh, I just love it. So for me, I think I've always overlooked the power music has until like recently I realized like yeah. music has so much power. Dude, Dude, especially if you can play an instrument. So much it's power. Like, I, listen, expression. I really like the Beatles and I listen to them, dude. Like, they ins impacted so many people's lives like in that yeah. generation. Like, revolutionary. It's insane. Revolutionary music. Calls like an actual revolution like in the world from their music. It's like, holy shit, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy. It really is. And the Think about this though: is music has such an impact on your feelings? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that every single movie has a score? They you have the music at the end, you mm -hmm. know, and it ties everything in because music's a feeling. Yeah, is, isn't it crazy though? It's just a bunch of vibrations. Oh yeah, but they can they can cause um, like like anger or emotions. You can like, you can barely put words to like what that is. That's I know. You know what I mean? That's an angry chord. Like, if you really, yeah, if you're really thinking about it, you just can't put too many words to music. No. Hey, 
It's just like our uh, yeah, <laughs> like language and sh like limits a lot of things. You just can't describe like music. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Play the intro one more time. That was too good. <laughs> So good. I used to know how to play the next version. Welcome to the podcast, <laughs> Strawberry Pancakes. <laughs> the thing that's cool is like we've been having our intros has been like eleven minutes, sort of. You know? know, like we've been talking, conversation, conversating. We keep coming back to the like the beginning of the show, though. It's kind of cool. Music is just so huge. It's huge. Like if we're gonna talk about music, we gotta play music. You know, you gotta plug it. You gotta play it. Play it. Yeah. Oh, and the guitar. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I like I like the finger picking because it's like the background music, like. That Mason. sounds so good! And there I was. <laughs> sitting. Thinking. Reminiscing. When it happened, I looked within myself <laughs> and I realized Wow. I just shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> That was so perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had like a, shit, a whole show like played in my head from there. It was good. Great. I'm telling you, music is very impactful. Hits you right in your feelings. <laughs> this one's the random one. Yeah, this one's the random one. Is it? I mean, it could be the same as your other one. But... I mean, this, this is pretty much podcasting, honestly. Okay, hey, really. We, where's the... Oh, here yeah. we go. Look, check this out, ready? Right? We'll do... Um... Hey, nothing. <laughs> dead silence, I'm sorry. Everybody. I don't think it's working out. Huh? No, I said dead silence. I got a little something, something over here. Sorry, here, I think it's connected now. I got a little something, something over here, guys. Don't worry. <clears throat> We're currently looking something up here. What are you trying to look up, Gage? I'm just trying to get this mic. How do you, uh... There we go. Technical difficulties. Is there yeah, screw it. Who cares? Who needs it? Well, I was thinking we could look up popular uh, topics. Yeah, we just look up. Topic I'm sure generator. it'll be all about Donald Trump. Yeah. Topic generator. Let's see what we got. If it is, it'll be huge. <laughs> oh, oh, have you seen that? Oh, here we go. What is the last thing you did before you go to sleep? What is the last thing you do before you go to sleep? Uh, badly enough, and I've read and heard that it's a horrible thing to do before you sleep because it adds like between twenty and like forty minutes of extra awakeness. Mm -hmm. I always am on my phone watching YouTube videos, and it, it is the death of me because I'll lay down at nine o'clock, and I'll be up until Dude. twelve or one. That was yeah. me in high school every night. Yeah, they I need say, to stop. I need to read. I know you read. Yeah, it's kind of solved that problem a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm going to start doing is my, I, I, what I found is like, and this goes into like, if you have insomnia and you can't sleep at night, you're having trouble sleeping. For me, sometimes it's like, when I can't sleep at night, it's because I have like, my problem solving mode on or something. Right. Like my, my mind just keeps thinking of just right. things I'm going to solve in my life or something. It's really weird. So this guy I follow, he was talking about reading fiction, like fiction stories before right. he goes to bed. And it's not like a YouTube video, it's just like you're reading, you're not in front of like the light that's gonna keep you awake. And you're reading this fiction story and it's just, it, it turns off that problem solving mode. It gets you into that creative thinking and you're just, you know, listening, reading the story and it like makes you sleep a lot better. Which is really cool. What about you, Cody? I try not to be on my phone. If anything, I try TV. But the problem is, as I've heard, that if you look at your phone, you, you know, you look at your phone and it keeps you awake, unfortunately. Yeah. 
and you're just staring at this bright thing and it's just so I've been trying to not do that but it seems like you know 9 45 10 o'clock rolls around I turn the TV off and I'm so on my phone here's another thing here too I I don't know about this program too much but I just now got it um, and I think there's an app with it too which is why I'm bringing it up it's called freedom right and I use it for my, on my laptop when I'm writing because I've been getting into writing. And you know, when you're writing or you're trying to even focus on anything, and you have the internet at your hands, you're gonna get distracted really easily. I always find myself just watching a bunch of random YouTube videos. Porn. So freedom, uh, porn, <laughs> same thing. So freedom, pretty much what the, what it does is it limits you to like that one tab or like that one program you're running, and like it'll literally you can't access anything else on your computer. And then there's, I think there's an app. Sounds like the opposite of freedom. Freedom That's to do word. what you want to do. I mean, freedom, like, I, I like it is, like, sort <laughs> Can't of. Can't hold me down. When you, I'm trying to sit Mine down install. and. Like, another thing, too, it, it, it helps when I'm editing. It helps when I'm doing anything. I want to focus on one thing, but, like, it, you, you can get really easily distracted on the internet. Like, easily. I always get easily distracted. But, um, yeah, it's a really helpful program. And, I, like, the time limits you. Sometimes they give you like notification, like hey, you know, like say I wanted to get an hour of writing in today. Send me a notification, like hey, get your hour of writing in. I don't know. There's like a paid subscription. That's cool. That does all does it? all that. I haven't paid. I don't pay for it yet, but I'm just trying to the, the free. <laughs> I don't pay for it. It's free freelancer. Yeah, but I might. It, honestly, I might. It's like three ninety nine. It's, it seems like it's totally worth it. I'm gonna look at the the whole point of this is like there's an app and <clears throat> I think. It, it makes it to where you can't access like apps at a certain time. You set it up. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. So I should do that at work. So <laughs> what do I do? What is the last thing I do before I go to sleep? Meditate. All right. Next question. Oh shit. If you could meet anybody in history, past or present, who would it be? Ooh. Who is this? Easy, Jesus. Hands down, I would meet Jesus. Or Buddha. Susan Lee Fleish. <laughs> She's got a last name. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who's that? Who's that, Cody? She made it to Google. <laughs> Native American doctor. Hmm. This is the, this is just the lady that's on the front page of Google. We have no idea who it is. You Good choice, though. Good anyone choice. in history. Okay, so you're still thinking about it. Hmm. Yeah. Mine, obviously, I think, you know, like, Jesus, dude. Like, if I met him, just got all the truth, that would solve, like, all the world problems. Um, that's pretty You would be. If I would, no, okay, if it was a physical manifestation, I met him, and, he, like, and I could take a recorder, I would just record everything he says, bring the recording back, Hey everybody, listen to this is what this is what he meant. This would solve the whole fucking world. Boom. Oh, That's what I'd do. I thought it said if you could be anyone. No, if you could, if you could be, be any. Oh shit, you're in a totally different direction. Yeah. Yeah. Meet. If you could meet anybody. Yeah, it'd have to be Jesus, I suppose. That's like the number one yeah, answer. Right? That's not my answer. That's not what I go to. Really? No. Who'd you go to? Um, Might be either Jesus or Buddha. That's my fi final answer. Meet. That's such a loose thing. Like meet, like hey, my name's. You know, well, what, what I got from conversation, it like, conversating them, like Dude, dissecting them, like sort of. I would like to meet Bill Gates. Podcast with them. I'd like to meet Bill Gates. Or like Warren Buffett. Steve Jobs. If Warren you're gonna do Buffett, Steve Jobs, yeah. Like the singer. No. Who am I thinking of? Let's find out. <laughs> You don't know who Warren Buffett is? I know Jimmy that Buffett. There's... You're thinking of Jimmy <laughs> Buffett. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the singer? He might sing. He might dabble. He's worth billions. Yeah. Have you seen uh, South Park with Jimmy Buffett? No. <laughs> AIDS burger? <laughs> I'd like to sit down and talk with Elon Musk for sure. I guess he's like heavily involved in like our future. Um... <laughs> Are you guys aware of Jimmy Buffett's music? No, not really. Like Margaritaville? Oh, that's a good song. That's what, a great song. Play it. 
Let her rip. Nobody likes Jimmy Buffett except for frat boys and alcoholic chicks from the South. Little boy in South Park. Dying of AIDS in the cold dark. How he got AIDS, I haven't a clue. Okay. Wasted I'm going to the next question. All right. I'm going to put a sub <clears throat> Ready? I think I'd probably meet uh, maybe like Al Capone. That'd be mm. super cool. Mm, that'd be cool. Kind or be even, scary. or even like my grandpa, like to get to know the, him a little better. Mm. Yeah, that'd be super that'd be cool. cool. All right, next question. How often do you phone? Oh, I like this one. I really like this one. This is interesting. This is a good website. I'm bookmark this. I probably use. I thought it'd be a shitty questions. This is a good. No, good they're pretty good. Good topics to talk about. I probably use my phone. I probably use thirty plus gigs a month. I have unlimited. I got measure. I got unlimited. I have unlimited too. That's a lot of gigs. <laughs> you use thirty by yourself. I've used the most that I've used in the longest time, and I've only used six. I probably only use like ten a month. I use mine a lot at work for looking up numbers, calling people, sending in my billing yeah. for emails or or whatnot. Yeah, I mean, how often do you use your phone? I think I just use mine for YouTube and Facebook. That's it. Yeah. Whenever I'm bored. Yeah, Gage, you're <clears throat> not into social media whatsoever. Never have been. I just like funny cat videos on my. <laughs> Whenever I <laughs> like see when you're like, what, but like no, the thing is weird too. Like with people our age, like when you're like when I was in high school, like social media was such a big ass thing, dude. Yeah. And then. No, me too. Yeah. So Everybody wants social media just kind of dies off when you graduate. Like literally, social media was. I guess it was different for me, though. I started using social media to promote my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's all I cared about, sort of, in my senior year. I started not caring what people thought of me in senior year at all. So I just stopped to caring. Like, I stopped caring about social media. But, like, before that, social media was, like, such a big part of, like, a lot of things. I don't know. After high school, it was like, that. It's whatever. Yeah. So after that, not using social media... Not using the telly. It's just like sort of the new newspaper. It's just like people just kind of, like if you're, it's, it's like an awkward silence between two people, you just go to your phone. Yeah. So it's not awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. people, that's just why people do it. It's just, all right. Mm. <laughs> hide behind their phones. Yeah. So. It's just becoming, this is a part of us now. People don't realize it. This right, is there literally us. So. Is that an old one or why is it a brick? Is that an older iPhone? Yeah, iPhone. It's just an iPhone. It's just... 5S. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, it, it, it's a big part. People are arguing that we're part robot because we use our phone so much. Hmm. But... I mean, I guess it's not, like, physically a part of us at all, but, like... Might as well be. Might as well be. Like, these are, like, our babies. We rely on it so much. People are like, oh, God... Can't be part. You're already part robot, whether you believe it or not. Mm -hmm. All right. Next question. At what age would you consider someone to be old? Okay, so like old age. Twenty four. Hey. <laughs> so like I'm thinking old age, like old age, like you're an old yeah. person. Yeah. <clears throat> um, um. Late fifties. Sixty for for me. Mine's late. You don't think somebody who's 59 is old? Once it hits 60, it's just seemingly they're more old to me. Like, 60. At, at what age would you consider someone to be old? 60. 59's not old? Not, I mean, <laughs> it's on the line. But, like, what it's asking is, like, what age? 58's not old. 60's, like, kind of on that line. I'm just no, like, holy I shit, think, you're old. I think someone who's old is 45. I think when somebody's old, they're old in spirit. No, 45. Not numbers. No, 47. 47. <laughs> That's, That's old. my final answer. Yeah, old. Oh, wow. 55 plus. 55 That's plus. Mine. That's 60. actually a good answer, too. 55 plus. Is Maybe 50. 60 when you're 40, like, you're going to be like, I'm not fucking old. Yeah. Yeah, but... No, 50. Two. Whenever you hit your midlife crisis, if you... If you I hit, think I've already hit mine. <laughs> <laughs> I have three dogs. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I don't know. When, when is midlife crisis age? Like 50, right? So like, or is it like a 45? Whenever you have it. I think it's like 45. 45 or 50, you're getting up there. All right, next question. Whenever I buy my Corvette. What is your favorite day of the year? 
Christmas. Is it bad my birthday <laughs> was the yeah. first thing I thought of? Dude, I was going to say February 6th. Remember my birthday. birthday. But it's <laughs> not. No, absolutely Christmas. I, I like the whole month of December. Yeah. I love the festivities. Yeah. I like how... You know, late November, Thanksgiving holiday transitions into yeah. Christmas time. Oh yeah. man, I love that. Seeing so, you know, all the decorations, the lights, the people are way happier. There's more people giving. Yeah, whenever I think of Christmas too, it's just like it brings like nostalgic. Yeah. Because like Christmas is like so magical as a kid. Dude. It really is. Like shit. Yeah. All right, next question. Okay. AIDS burger and. <laughs> What is the short slash long term goals of yours? Okay. Um, People wait. might make fun of me. What's your short term goal for you, Gage? Oh, uh, short term? Mm, get out of the military. I think. I don't know. Check. I have no <laughs> idea. I I I want to be successful out of the military. Mm-hmm. That's a short term goal because that's within five years. Yeah. Being able to make more it's money than I'm making term. now. It's kind of long term. Three? No. I think long term is like 10 years, 12 years. When I think short term, I think like less than a year, and then long term is like beyond a year for me. It's like when I what I perceive. <clears throat> next, next year, what's a goal of yours? Next year? For Be you a drone too. pilot? Drone pilot? What's for you? Solve world hunger? Just something small. <laughs> What's that? Solve world hunger. I just want to be a I banana. Know. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's all I want. I'd like to eat strawberry pancakes. Oh, oh my god. No. Uh, yeah. I can make that happen right now. <laughs> he made some this morning. <laughs> Let's go back in time. I got a time machine. Let's um, go back to this morning. Short term goal. In a year. Uh, maybe, <clears throat> maybe engage. I don't know. That's oh, nice. about it. That's a good goal. Uh, one step closer to getting my journeyman's. Hopefully, be a journeyman electrician. Make it back. For me, would, short-term yeah. goal of mine, that always, like, in the last year. For me, it's always been, like, I want to find a way I can have my own income coming in, other than, like, having a Working. job. Like, going to, mm-hmm. like, a job. So I want to figure out in some way to make some money offline in some way, whether that be starting a business or anything. I want to just have some cash gun that can support myself from something I'm doing, not going somewhere to get the money, you know. Yeah. That's that's a goal for me in the next year, okay? Well, I'll be right on board with you. Uh-huh. Let's go to next Hopefully question. strawberry banana pink. Oh, <laughs> we'll edit that. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully strawberry pancakes picks up. We could, we could be pretty good advertisers. Yeah. Ooh, would you rather be homeless for a year or be in jail for a year? Jail. Jail. Oh, this is Dude, a toughie. Dude, people in jail get... Live it up. Mm. It depends what kind of jail. Yeah, that's it's just, true. This, 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 yeah, it depends on what kind of jail, or like it also depends where, where? you're be homeless at. Right. Would you rather be homeless in Alaska? Like this is all situational. Or in jail in New York. Good this point. is kind of all situational, honestly. <clears throat> See, like I feel like jail is like if you go to jail for a year, it's good for certain people. Yeah. Like you just have total solitude to yourself, and you just kind of like figure out yourself. Like a jail, like if you're like. Uh, if you have a lot of problems in your life and you go to jail for a year, it's like the best thing that can happen to you. I, I think for the sake of the question, we should think both peaks for each question, or for each thing, homeless and jail. So the best possible thing for being homeless, the best possible thing for being in jail. Yeah. And then the So reverse. that was, I think that's my best possible thing for being a year in jail. Like, I feel like if you go to a year in jail, or, let's see, I don't know. I feel like you know yourself better because you've been spending so much time by yourself. Well, another thing, too, is there's a lot of education benefits behind it, too. When mm-hmm. you're in jail, you know, you've got nothing but time, pretty much, so... If I, like, if some, if some police officer told me, hey, you're going to jail, buddy, for a year, <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I'd probably just write a book in jail. Just yeah, no, as bad as book. jail sounds, I think I would, I would choose jail over homeless. I don't know. In a family aspect, like being a family man, I wouldn't want... To be in jail because you can't have mm-hmm. that. yeah you can't support but if you're homeless you can you at least try to bear grows it up or something true very true it's just kind of situational I don't know yeah that's a tough question tough question do you want to have an answer I jail. waited me guys didn't really yeah jail 
Yeah, yeah. I'm undecided. I have no idea. It depends on the situation. <laughs> is it harder to exercise more or eat healthier? Exercise. Oh, eat healthier. Easy. Eat no. healthier for me, dude. What? No. Yeah. Eating healthy is easy. I agree. Like a strict health diet? Yes. It's Chicken and me, broccoli. I could do that. Chicken and rice. It's easy. It's easy for me, but I work so much that I don't really... I work. wake up at, you know, 545 Leave the house in my at current, six. I guess in my current point in my life right now, I actually am trying to eat healthy. Oh. And um, the problem is I'm at work at Menards and there's like candy bars and chips and stuff in the front aisles I'm always working at. And so I always get like chips and candy bars. And Gatorades stuff. for like a buck. So it's a trust struggle for me. I exercise like every single day. Yeah, for so. me, it's it's I can eat healthy just fine. Cause, mm-hmm. But when you leave at 6 and you get home at 7 and if you get a service call late at night sometimes yeah. it's 8 8.30 you get home and you're already tired as fuck so it's like god I gotta eat dinner shower mm-hmm. and adding something in the mix like we go we went for a walk could I propose a tough. theory yeah you can supplement your sleep for exercise oh dude it's so tough bold move it's a bold move I'm a big baby when it comes to sleep me too Especially because I'm, I'm just not I one do. of those people. This comes up to the person you have to figure out yourself. But mm-hmm. I feel like if you like, it goes down to science too. It talks about it. Like our since we're in an ever developing world where technology is doing a lot of tasks that humans are, don't have to anymore. Like we used to only have to focus on collecting our food and like getting our own food. You know that was like our main focus. That's not a problem whatsoever. And so we don't. I mean, it's obvious. Like obesity is a big problem. You know. Fuck so yeah. you know, it's like uh, we just don't get as much exercise as we should like from our just how we are as humans and um it even shows science shows like if you exercise once a day or something like that it just literally in all aspects of your life like just improves like you won't need as much sleep you'll be able to your cognitive function you function yeah. better in your head um i don't know just exercise is a necessity it's 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 definitely when it comes down for me it's definitely you know the drive or not the drive the motivation because right. i you know that 2 hour drive home after you get you yeah. work and you kind of unwind in this 2 hour drive mm-hmm. you get home and you're like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? i mean that's the whole issue that's, you just, that's the biggest if i like worked in my not Drove home 15 minutes. Like, yeah. Oh, all right, but <laughs> like, the drive, you're just like, uh. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, driving four hours a day, like, dude, how the fuck? That takes up a lot of your life, driving. Yeah. When you add it up, it's like a month, a year, I think. Or no. Like a week straight, a year. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> this goes into, like, if you had a car that drove you. Drove you you could just literally sleep in your car while you went to work. Time to invest in Tesla. That's what you I'm know? saying, dude. Like, Agreed. There was a picture of a guy in traffic in L.A. He was literally sleeping in his Tesla while he was going to work. Imagine if you could use those four hours for sleep. <laughs> people in the future can be like, oh, that was so or stupid. I could just, people, people drove? Or I could just like <laughs> hire somebody to drive me to work. Uber. If it was that far, I would hire somebody. Seven... Eight dollars an hour to drive me to work. Yeah, I'll pay for the gas. And I'll some buy you done in your I'll laptop. buy you breakfast. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do in that situation. Driving four hours a day. I, I would listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I pretty. That's much what I do at work. I listen. I just listen to podcasts to try to feed my brain with like knowledge, not like just brainless activities. <laughs> like just, I know how to make this fucking taco. God damn it! <laughs> like, what am I thinking of right now? <laughs> Nothing. And we put a podcast in and listen to, like, Sam Harris, the smartest guy in the world. It's crazy. <laughs> Here's a good topic. For what's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> I think he lost a bit. Sheesh. All right. I like this. This is a good website. What are you most thankful for this year? What are you, what are you most thankful for? Mine's getting out of my crazy craziness in Indiana for a little bit, I'd say. Oh. Hmm. Cody, what are you most thankful for this year? Thankful for this year is oil price. Oil prices. Very thankful for where they're at. 
It's the reason I have a job. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's more things I'm thankful <clears throat> for, and better things I'm thankful for. That's but like just this, one. that just stands out this year so far. Yeah. It, going into being thankful, it goes in like gratitude. I just got like this uh, journal. It's called a gratitude journal. This came in the mail today. I guess I could talk about it for a yeah. second, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it's like a little journal that just kind of like organize, organizes your thoughts a little bit. And so like what 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 it has you do, and like every single page, like. You do it every single day, like in the morning. And so what you can do, I would have to go grab the book to totally read it. I could totally read out like what's it. I was top of my head. So you, you wake up and I think it's like you write, you write down like two things you intend on doing. And then after that, it's like you're, you do a daily affirmation. So like uh, affirmations is sort of like, um, I'm glad I'm eating healthy or I'm glad to be alive. You know, that's a daily affirmation. Like I'm, I'm alive today. <clears throat> bunch of oppor- there's a lot of opportunities today just kind of like yeah it's kind of like cliche to say that but like if you have that mindset like in the morning which is like the journal you just kind of like write it down it's like what's the journals for you just like write down your daily affirmations some objectives you maybe have um, and then being like grateful too like first thing in the morning like really helps your mindset throughout the day so that's the journal I just got it really helps it <coughs> That's super cool. Yeah. It's a good way to look positively upon your life. I was like, I heard about it. I was like, dude, I need to get that. That's going to be dope. I'm try That's it good. out. Yeah. I, I'll tell you how it is in about a week. Yeah. I, it's just kind of like meditation, but writing it down, sort of. I mean, so. Kind of the thing that you accomplish meditating. That's pretty cool. I would say I'm most thankful for, uh, for probably for Liz, honestly. Because without her, she or I, we probably wouldn't have traveled to Vegas, traveled to Cali, <laughs> lived it up in Vegas and Cali. That was a pretty good experience, and we wouldn't have got this house. No. Man, you make me look bad. Hopefully, Nancy doesn't listen to this. No, here. they won't. I'm most <laughs> thankful for Nancy too. If you're <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right, let's go to the next next topic. Food. I'm <laughs> just kidding. What's your your favorite brand? Brand. Ooh. Raisin brand. What's your favorite brand? Hmm. I don't know. What is my favorite brand? brand. Kellogg's Special K cereal. Brand. Like define brand. Whenever I think brand, I'm thinking like food mm-hmm. companies. No. So I anything. think Nike. That's what when I'm I saying. It can be anything. Brand. Food, so for food, me, clothing. For me, it'd probably computer, be Nintendo. Technology. Probably be my Nintendo, bro. Really? Oh, easily. Nintendo. Mine would probably be Xbox. Dude, mine would probably be Starbucks. <laughs> really? Hundred percent. Mm. Caribou is good though. Not, not as good as Starbucks. They're crafted, press. Yeah. Oh. oh. When when we were in California, they were trying to, the people that we were with were trying to get us on this. I think it's called coffee bean. I don't think there's gonna be contenders for Starbucks. No, it was pretty good. No, uh, it was very, it was very good. Just the way Starbucks has gone about things, though. I don't know. Okay, there are so many Starbucks, <laughs> dude, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like McDonald's. No, I know. It's, what I'm there, saying. I guarantee it's there's more McDonald's or there's more Starbucks Probably than there are McDonald's. You know, you know why? There has to be. You know why? They're it's the easy. way the way their layout is is like so efficient. Dude, like look, I work there. Look, look it up. No, look. I, look I, it up right now. I worked. I yeah. You look it up on your phone. Starbucks I, I worked at Starbucks McDonald's. and I I figured out like their key and like why they're everywhere, because they they literally can have their stores in anywhere. Yeah. They're like a uh, not even like a restaurant. They're like <clears> half <throat> the size of that. So they can you can fit that in the in the malls. You can fit that like anywhere this is like behind their signs is where they store all their coffee and yeah. all their food and shit behind their signs and then their little uh, bag storage room is like so small it's like insane like it's actually when you work there and it's like really busy and there's a bunch of workers it's like you get really claustrophobic in 2016 there were 14,146 McDonald's stores in the U.S. So fourteen thousand. There's got to be more Starbucks. I've seen fourteen thousand Starbucks in North Dakota. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not. Wait, 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 that was that was that World, right? No, 
Well, U.S. America, in America. Oh I was just gonna do U.S. Fourteen thousand. Fucking Jesus. There's got to be more Starbucks. What? Starbucks had eleven thousand stores in October, according 11, to its annual report. Um. Well, no. no way, dude. Dude, McDonald's is fucking everywhere. Dude, everywhere. No, I think of it's okay. not. Is there? There's not even a Starbucks in Rushville where Cameron lives. There is. Is there? I don't know. Okay, listen. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Okay, listen, though. listen. This is something that I need to say too. How many other stores do you know that sell McDonald's? Because there's, you can go ooh. into the mall mm-hmm. and they'll have a coffee shop and they'll have Starbucks set up there. So yeah, they may no, not yeah. they may not recognize that that's as true Starbucks, true. but they sell their product. I guess that doesn't really count though as a store. I, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. if you go anywhere, you'll see that little freaking sign of hope, little green lady. He's talking about Amazon. I think of, real quick before we get off okay. this topic. Okay. I think of the little towns all over the U.S. The ones that have a fucking McDonald's and that's all they have. Mm-hmm. They don't have Starbucks. That's yeah, why yeah. I thought maybe McDonald's. Would but oh, Starbucks okay. will definitely take over the game though, for sure. Are you done with this? Yeah. Cool. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mint. <coughs> Mint cherry Amazon, line. Dude. Amazon is crazy. That's gonna get big. It's already big. It's. it's but gonna, they're the what, what they're gonna be having is like you walking into their stores. What the hell? You walk into into your stores and you have your phone on you and like you just go shop by yourself and there's no cashiers or anything. Like they know like yeah. what you pick. Have up. you seen that? Amazon Go. It's called Amazon Go. I've never seen that. No. Let's pull it up. What a perfect podcast topic. Yeah. No, that's it's revolutionary. Crazy. I it's heard they've got, like, blimps. That's like, why they the just bought, of that's why they just bought they Whole Foods. Drones. I know they have drones, Drone but, like, You know, blimps. they just bought Whole Foods, right? That's why they bought Whole Foods. Amazon bought Whole Foods just, like, two days no ago. Way. Yeah. It's because they're making these stores. I was talking about this like a year ago too, in one of my vlogs. It was like really cool. Man, I wish I wish they would have one here. Amazon Go. Yeah, you just walk in. You have your phone on you, and yeah, look at this. There we go. Yeah, it's it's bananas. They have one in New York City. I don't know if it's open or not yet, but. Just grabs it and walks out. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, put it in your bag. As long as you have your phone on you. And it scans everything? Yeah. Yeah. You can change your output settings, because we're recording on no, this. No, that's fine. He'll, he'll get the idea. Yeah. Crazy, dude. Wait, what's... Yeah, when, when you pick it up, it adds it to your cart. No way. Yeah. <laughs> You can just walk out. See, the thing that's crazy is these companies are taking over the game because they're they're futurists and they're just they're buying Whole Foods out and all these like brands and stuff and they're like turning our world into the future. Yeah, honestly, though, I don't I don't think it's gonna be as simple as that. I don't either. Because Fuck, no. I know the, you're you're gonna have to show your phone like that you mm. proof of purchase all that other kind of stuff because like what would stop somebody from just walking in taking a product and then walking out another thing is also how does it know you pick that item up do they have sensors underneath the oh, item sure. when you pick it up i mean i'm sure but how does it know that you picked it up what if you're near somebody exactly that's what i'm thinking amazon's got it figured out they got so, it figured out. so it's a grocery store then it's a grocery store and if somebody figured out some way to somehow sneak out, it's just kind of like people steal from stores anyway, even when there's workers nowadays. That seems a little more easy. Yeah, no. Well, maybe it might. They're, they're still gonna have. They're still still gonna have people working there. Obviously. Yeah. Maybe you have to have your phone out and like as you pick something up, it's like, did you pick this up? And you just hit yes, and then you put it in your bag or something. Yeah. Or maybe you scan each item. No. Beep. What if your phone's dead? What if you got 1% walking in, nothing you're while drawing. walking out? Dude, you're a genius. Shh. Looks like Jesus. you're not getting any meatloaf for dinner. <laughs> God dang it. And you couldn't even get a hold of your wife to tell her, you're done. You're... If your phone's dead in the future, oh, you got a world of problems. 
can't go no, grocery it, shopping. It probably, I don't know. There's probably a way to still charge this to your Amazon account or something like that. I, I, I feel like it's going to be one of those things that's just there, you know what I mean? It's just... I feel like they're gonna have that. But there's gonna be some line of just people making sure everything's going right, yeah, like in the stores. But it's still gonna be implemented. Uh, it's hot in here. Yeah. We've been podcasting for about an hour already. Forty-seven minutes. It's been a pretty good podcast. A lot of, a lot of random. With a fifteen-minute intro, I mean, how could you beat it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that's cool. We we'll get a drink of water here. What's next? Next one. You want you want to do another? One? What? You want to do another? One? Yeah. Okay. Oh, dream job. They're laying in heavy tonight. It's tough to stay on beat when I snap because the echo in the headphones. Yeah. Dream job. Hmm. Dream job. So I think what we should do is like if we had to pick a job right now. I don't know, dude. Let's see. I'll tell you my dream job. This is tricky. Making money on my investing. Having yep. a fucking million dollars in investing. Yeah. And making money off dividends. And then you just have freedom. Done. <laughs> you have freedom to do anything you want. See, that's the thing. It's not about the money. It's about the time that gets really, like, I don't know. To me, like, when people talk about entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is not necessarily about getting the money, but, like, releasing time up for yourself. In order to do other things. That's like entrepreneurship. So, dream job. Oh, shit, dude, I don't know. I would like to be working on something with, like, people I would like to be working with. So, like, a solid group of just, like, a solid team. And we're just, like, all working on something that we have, like, the same vision for. I don't know. Something like that. I like to make music. It's like Sorry. being on a team, like a startup business or something. A musician. That's what I want to be doing. Oh, yeah? Making music. Oh, yeah. I would, I would just like to be in a position of, like, high authority or leadership. Like, not necessarily, like, a president, influence. but somebody who has a lot of influence. Influence, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to also be a cook at a rib fest somewhere. <laughs> no, not a cook, a taste tester. Taste a tester. judge. That's true. Those ribs were banging. Me and Gage... And, and our ladies, we went to a rib fest today. Got some ribs and oh, yeah, how was that? It was, it, was it was extremely good. You guys get fried Twinkies? We no. didn't. We were thinking about it. Yeah, mm. it was real tough. Happen. I just didn't want to go. I wanted to read and shit. So. But what was also there? <sighs> Let's dive right was into the it. escape room. Yeah, they really? had a mobile yeah. escape room. Yeah, really? instead of a hour, it was a thirty-minute one, and I. I said, well, it must be tough having electronics, you know. And if anyone doesn't know what escape room is, I'll just explain. Yeah, yeah, link in the description. An escape link room. In the description. Go on, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an escape room is a, is a room that you and a group of people go into, and there's clues and puzzles and hints and different things for you to get out. They lock the door, and you need to figure out how to find the key, basically. Right. Mm-hmm. So, we did a few a couple weeks ago as a big group, and it was awesome. We loved it. Absolutely. But the ones who did it in my night here were at the Rib Fest, and they had a mobile stand. And so, yeah. And I had asked him, you know, it must be tough, you know, traveling. You must not have a bunch of electronics. And he said, no, actually, this little booth has more electronics than the whole, than our than either of our rooms. And I was like, wow. Shit. So yeah, it's kind of cool. That's awesome. I, th- I think we're, we're changing into uh, avid escape roomists. <laughs> yeah. I have no, yet to be one next one. weekend. I have yet to be go through one. I've we'll had one next weekend. I've had like five opportunities in my life to go to one. We're well, going to one next weekend. Okay. Next weekend it is. We'll be in Bismarck. Yep. Testing out. Testing out the pirate one. Mm-mm-mm. I gotta talk to my old man about that. <laughs> Figure out what the deal he is. But yeah, they're super cool. And if anyone is even listening this long, I hope so. I'll share it on Facebook. Maybe people will be listening. But uh, try it out. I know if people are listening from where I'm from, there is tons of them in the Twin Cities. 
And if you like solving puzzles, do it. Yeah. Just do it. You're bored. It's fucking <clears throat> Friday. Don't go to the bar. Maybe stay away from getting fucked up. I, I see something with escape rooms, all right? You see Follow it. me along with this, okay? With, like... Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> this is getting serious, guys. Okay, hang on. We're changing this up. <laughs> no, but, like, genuinely, like, with, like, augmented reality and, like, VR and stuff, I feel like, like, there's going to be something there. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to kind of meet up. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't yeah. know. That'd be sweet. I'd, like, I'd hop on board with Because people are like, oh, VR is going to be the biggest thing going, like, in the, in the video game world, at least. But... You have to have a giant space to even do anything. You know what I mean? But, like, if they had this place there's, like, an escape room, and they incorporated it where you had, like, a headset on, too. Like, you're going to be in a legit, like, video game. I and saw an ad for like, something like dream that. coming true when you're a kid type shit. It's like a laser tag, but it was VR, and you're going through this place, and it was different. It, mm. The goggles were correlated with the environment you were in so it might just be a blank wall but in vr it's a blown up building or something yeah. you know what i mean so super well, cool well they have the technology now mason and i actually played the vive yeah because our friend tony Crazy. tony burns has it that's a game changer it's the vive yeah htc vive like one of the top of lines of virtual reality heads. Yeah. I've played the Oculus. You have? Oculus it's with like, the handles. It's better, it's better than that. And then, yeah, no you have handles. And yeah. So for this, the handles, right? You hold onto the handles. Say you move your fingers. It'll... In the video game, you move your fingers. Yeah. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I played that. <laughs> Cause that's exactly what he had. Really? Like two tower stands. In was his it? In, room. Was it insane? Was it awesome? Dude, it was the craziest yeah. okay. thing. Okay, no, yeah. it changed my life. He has yeah. two sensors in the corners. And, and they were on the room. stand. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. Dude. I played this zombie game, and you literally picked up your pistol. We did that, too. We was did it that. the one in the desert? No, we played oh. one that was robots. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you could just, like, dude, pick it up, roll yeah. it around. Like, it felt like I was throw it, there. pull shotguns like out of your it's back. In, dude, yeah. look. You know what's crazy, right? This is insane, but, like, it's so cool to see this happening because when I was a little kid, like, seven years old, or, like, six or seven, I used to daydream before it was, like, even kind of a thing to, like, being able to play video games with, like, people around the world. Like, before, like, I even knew the internet can connect to, like, a video game console. I used to be sitting there playing Super Smash Bros. on N64 and be like, man, I wish I could, I could be playing with somebody else in the world, right? Yeah. And then now cool. it's like, that's just the thing, whatever. That's now we're, like, crazy. talking about this shit. Ten years, in a matter of ten years. It's it's crazy. I don't think I'll ever grow out of playing video games, unfortunately. I Nancy think I, hates it. I but. think, unfortunately, I have. Really? Well, I couldn't take the last time I picked up the PlayStation. Me too, dude. Honestly. I love it. I, it's just... There's very few things where I can take my mind, and that's movies, games. Yeah. I, I found... I understand that, too. Yeah. I, I think... That's for me for certain games. I'm not. I don't. I don't really like GTA and like Call of Duty and stuff really anymore. Unless it's like mm -hmm. a good Call of Duty and there's some like Call of Duty is just like competition sort of. Yeah. But like I don't know what you mean like fucking like Skyrim shit like, like yeah. actually immerse you into the world and stuff. That like, one is. Yeah. I can't cool. dive that far into it, but books, I'm like for me personally, books like do that like times three for me. Really, oh, I yeah. can't read. I literally cannot read a book. No, he literally just can't read. Like, I doesn't know how to read <laughs> English. <laughs> I just can't. I can't read English. <laughs> yeah. No, but I know what you mean. I, I think a lot of that, because I don't like to read either, but I mm -hmm. think that comes from school. Like, being force-fed to read oh, books. Yeah. Oh, that was me. 100%. Throughout your life. Oh, yeah, you know, for I sure. don't want to read for Mark sure. Twain. I don't. I like I don't reading. Care. I know, but I like reading books that bring like value to me, though. Right. In my consciousness. I probably would too if I. I yeah. Hate. I. I never. I never viewed it in that way ever at school. Really? <laughs> not really, dude. I'd be like, I'm not interested in this. I don't want to read this. Exactly. But now I pick up books like that. I'm actually interested in. And now I'm interested in le learning. So it could have been a whole different ball game for me in school. If, like I redid high school right now. I think I'd probably excel in it. Right now, because I'm just I like learning now. It's like, why the fuck did I not like learning five years ago? No, I felt the same way too. I probably learned more in my first year after high school than I did throughout all of high school. Because mm -hmm. high school or middle school is all about retaining information for a short period of time and then brain dumping, yeah. it. dumping it out. Yeah. 
It yeah, I I didn't like it. And then being called on to read, and I was always a slow, shitty reader. So it was dude, like, it's just the. <laughs> And this is all getting conspiracy kind of stuff. It's just the way the society is put out to, like, we're all sheep, sort yeah. of, it's a type thing, really, honestly. <laughs> School's not there for you to learn. It's just to keep you structured in society. It's all it's for, you know? Pretty much. I mean, you learn just a small gist. But, yeah, I, I mean, I would love to do that. But, that like, like video games, I, I like the classics. Like, the next Call of Duty that comes out looks like it's going to be insane. Mm-hmm. And... World There's going to be a more of an emerging uh, value to that because it's World War II. I, the historical games, like yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2, that one's coming out. That one looks, that one looks crazy. Insane because it's like a hist- I like the historical times. Mm-hmm. And it's not like, you know, we're reading a book or watching a movie, you're only getting. Video game, you're getting this all of it. channel obviously. bit, but an open world video game, they're kind of immersing you in this different environment. And I think that's just yeah. super cool. Like role playing games. Yeah, too. pretty much. Like it's Skyrim. Games, it sounds so gay when, when it's called role play. RPG, like role playing games. Oh, yeah. But it I really, that's what it is. That. I, I never it. thought about it in that light. Yeah. yeah. No, me neither. I but, love um, it, though. No, dude, I was so sad because. <laughs> The, which, I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, it's not going to get announced, but, like, the next Elder Scrolls game just mm-hmm. wasn't announced this year. It's just like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. It's every five years, right? Dude, it's, yeah, it's six years. Oh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> it's more than that, I think. Six years. It's six years. It's 2011, like, it came GTA out. GTA is, like, now. five years now. GTA now, 5? Yeah. It's crazy. I got it the first day it came out. So did I. No. Oh. I got it for PS3 I wasn't even the eight, first day it look, came out. You know the first day I got it? I wasn't even 18, so I wasn't old enough to buy it. And uh, I had a friend that worked at a, at Menard? Or no, not Menard's. Lowe's? It was some Home store in Indiana. Depot? Target, Target, there we go. He worked sure. at Target. He was 18. I just gave him the money. He went in the back and got the... Took my money. He bought the game for me. I walked out of the store. I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh... Are you really gonna rat yourself out on here? I mean, the right. police you got him. Come get him. On the door. Come get me. An I did the same thing for Skyrim too. I went to the midnight release. Same thing with what Black Ops two, hmm. one Black Ops one two. Yeah, I did. I got Black Ops two the first day it came out. I didn't get Skyrim first day called. I was like on that train wreck. Like you're kind of an, a nerd. But even though deep down I was the biggest nerd of anybody because I've always been into Zelda and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, that was kind of weird in my early school days. I didn't want to... I was like, oh, I'm not a nerd. But I was like, actually a nerd the whole time. So, I'm a fucking nerd. I'm a fucking nerd. I'm just... I'll totally admit I'm a nerd. So I. Fucking, I fucking read. Dude, if, I, if Mason three years ago was looking at me like now, I'd be like, what the fuck? I'm <laughs> such a nerd. Nerd. Now. Yeah. Nerd. Yeah, it's crazy. Too bad there's not a trash can there we might toss you in it <laughs> yeah. upside down yeah. I could give you a swirly yeah. I think we should end this one off guys. I think, should we do one more topic and then one more topic one more to seal right, the one, deal one more topic see where this goes see, see what a good one it is just a quick me some stu- like you can't get much better than this question you know? oh that's, that's true that's not... do you want to be a banana or a strawberry <laughs> yeah. would you rather would you rather not be able to use your hands or not be able to walk that's a perfect outro Perfect. 100% hands. Not be able to use my hands. I what? gotta walk. Really? No, dude, your hands, you do everything. You do everything with your hands. I would totally... I gotta hands. Get I rid of my feet. You. Yeah. Or I gotta keep the hands. You do literally everything with your hands. Maybe. I could use my mouth. You're gonna have to find some transportation. Somebody's gonna have to carry you around or wheelchair, but like, you do literally everything with your hands. Yeah, I so, keep... You couldn't play guitar, you couldn't fucking shoot a video. Dude, I'll play guitar with my feet. <laughs> Dude, do you want to hear me play guitar with my feet right now? You know what I mean. Dude, here we go. You guys can't see me. Holy (laughs) shit. (laughs) (laughs) For the listeners out there, Gage is really... No, you should should have given a few seconds and made some shuffling noise in the background. Some books dropping. What the fuck? He's getting in this weird position. Alright. Okay, here and... um... (laughs) Oh my god. He's floating! Yeah. He's literally floating! <laughs> that was good. That was a pretty good outro song. Or do we do uh, Strawberry <laughs> for the <laughs> outro? Alright, guys, thanks for tuning in to Strawberry Pancakes. Well, outro music. Outro Cute. music? Oh, uh, of course. Wait, wait, wait. 
Let's do it proper. Let's do it proper. All right, thanks for tuning in to Strawberry Pancakes, guys. Thank <laughs> you.